Hyped as a Premier League title decider, it was barely even a contest as Manchester City thrashed Arsenal 4-1 on Wednesday to close in on becoming English champions for the fifth time in six years. The momentum of the title race looks to have decisively swung the way of Pep Guardiola's men, with two games in hand. The Gunners have only lost four games all season, but tellingly two of them have come when faced with the ultimate test in City. A 3-1 home defeat when the sides met in February was at least a game decided by fine margins. A brittle Arsenal defence, shorn of the reassuring presence of William Saliba, could not contain the power of Erling Holland, even if it did take until the final attack of the game for the Norwegian to score his 49th goal of the season. Holland instead turned provider, twice, for Kevin De Bruyne to fire home early in each half. In between times, Arsenal's weakness at defending set-pieces was exposed as John Stones rose highest to head home De Bruyne's free-kick in first-half stoppage time. Arsenal's title challenge was unexpected and arguably premature for the youngest squad in the league. They have not even qualified for the Champions League for the past six years, something which they are already assured of for next season. Yet that cannot mask the disappointment of having crumbled once the pressure was ramped up on the run-in. Arguably the damage was done even before Arsenal set foot on the Etihad with three consecutive draws. There remains work to do for City, not just to retain their title but potentially become just the second English team to complete the treble of Premier League, Champions League and FA Cup in the same season. But with this kind of form City will take some stopping. The end of this season is sure to be an interesting one.